minutes. I was thinking a lot how to record and play back digital data using audio cassettes. Previously, I tried to do this using a standard audio cassette player, but the data recording quality was very poor. This time, I decided to use an adapted device, a vintage Commodore dataset and Arduino Uno microcontrollers. Let's see how I did it. First of all, the question was about how to connect the Commodore dataset to the Arduino. I made a connector from fiberglass board. The Commodore device motor requires a 6 volts power supply, so I used an XL4015 voltage converter. As you can see, the homemade connector perfectly connects with the Commodore dataset. This project requires two Arduino Uno microcontrollers. To one of them, I connected an Arduino Ethernet shield to enable the connection of a micro SD card. Of course, you can use a different micro SD card adapter. The Arduino Uno with a micro SD card will be used for data recording and the another one for data reading. Alright, let's try compiling the code for the Arduino Uno that will record data onto the audio cassette. Compilation successful. Let's try uploading the code to the Arduino Uno. Oops, we got an error. Let's try to change the COM port. Great, the code has been successfully uploaded. Now let's prepare another Arduino Uno which will be responsible for reading data from the audio cassette. After small adjustments, the code has been successfully uploaded to the Arduino. I got some ideas for the Arduino Uno code from SLU4 projects. Visit the SLU4 YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll find many interesting projects on the SLU4 channel. Let's prepare the Arduino Uno for work. Connect the wires and attach the Commodore dataset to the Arduino. Like I said before, the Commodore dataset motor requires 6 volts. Let's use the multimeter 
to set the appropriate voltage. Create a text file on the microSD card. In the text file, write the text you want to record onto the audio cassette. The micro SD card is ready. Insert it into the Arduino Uno. Prepare the audio cassette. Connect the Arduino Uno to the computer to see the recording process. We will use PuTTY software for monitoring. In the left PuTTY window, we will see the status of the recording Arduino, and in the right window, the status of the reading Arduino. Great! Let's restart the Arduino and start recording onto the audio cassette. In the right party window, we can see the data being recorded onto the audio cassette in real time. When the text runs out in the file on the micro SD card, the Arduino automatically repeats the process after 10 seconds. Stop the recording process and try to disconnect completely the Arduino Uno, which sends the recording text. Rewind the audio cassette and see how the textual data is played back from the audio cassette. Great! The playback process is smooth and without errors. Are you interested about what sound an audio cassette makes when it contains digital data? Let's find out! We will use a standard tape recorder for this. Now you can hear how digital data sounds like on an audio cassette. I hope this project was interesting. Stay tuned for more videos.